This is a construction 3D printer, and it allows buildings to be constructed in the shortest possible time. These are bricklaying robots. They can create perfect brickwork according to the specified settings. And this is aerogel, a very cool substance that at a thickness of just a few centimeters can protect a person from the direct flame of a gas torch, the temperature of which, by the way, exceeds 600 degrees. Today you will learn about materials that were previously described by science fiction authors and works of art, but already exist today. Welding robots. In many works of fiction, robots that perform various tasks were often described. Of course, not all of the ideas of science fiction authors have been realized, but just take a look at this amazing machine. Special welding robots are in use right now. For example, in the production of a car on the assembly line, these machines weld body parts together with maximum precision and quality. Another application for such robots is the creation of nuclear reactors. It's a well-known fact that when welding a special protective casing for the reactor's active zone, robots are used in addition to human labor. The machine immediately detects welding defects and can quickly rectify them. The quality of the welds after the robot's work is so high that humans can hardly replicate them. By the way, in the movie Iron Man 2, a welding robot was already used in the creation of a special reactor. And these machines also built and repaired a superhero's costume. So, if you think that someone's idea is beyond the realm of science fiction, you may be deeply mistaken, and something similar is already being developed or already exists. Smart Home System The concept of a smart home was also frequently described by science fiction authors in books and movies before it became a reality. In these works, they portrayed all the advantages of living with such a system. Lights turning on in the room where a person is located, the kettle boiling automatically, curtains shifting, and many other gadgets. Needless to say, such systems have long existed in the market of construction solutions. Boiling a kettle for your loved one while being in another country? Easy. And for this, you don't need to install a smart home system, as such kettles already exist separately today. A smart home is not about basic needs, but about a system that fully controls everything you interact with. You can easily set a specific sequence of actions with the push of a button or voice command. For example, if you say good morning, the system will understand that it needs to start boiling the kettle, draw the curtains to let in the light, start the coffee grinder, play uplifting music, dispense pet food, and perform a million other actions that automation can do instead of a human. Of course, similar systems also exist for home security. Water sensors can alert you to leaks. A carbon monoxide sensor can warn of fires. Temperature sensors can help maintain a comfortable climate in the house. And all of these issues can be addressed by a smart home. Isn't this the future? But what about the cost? Of course, highly advanced smart home systems are expensive. But there have long been fairly inexpensive solutions on the market. For example, using smart plugs, you can easily control the operation of a TV, cattle, and any other household appliances. And a smart socket for lamps can help turn on the lights by command without using switches. Various voice assistants can serve as the central device of the system. And you don't even need to do a full renovation for a smart home. There are plenty of solutions that don't require any built-in installations. Similar smart home systems like fingerprint locks can be integrated anywhere. The production and construction company PO Sistema offers unique solutions in the field of modular fast erecting buildings. Upon the customer's request, any type of module can be made, from ordinary residential to sanitary or control and checkpoint modules, and the size of the building is determined solely by the customer. You can find more information about PO Sistema by following the link in the description. Construction 3D Printers Construction 3D printers are used to create physical objects based on their digital models. In science fiction, 3D printers are often used to create various objects or even entire buildings. In reality, there are already construction 3D printers that can be used to create buildings or other objects from various materials. Such printers can use different materials, such as plastic, metal or concrete. One example of a construction 3D printer is IPS Core, which can create buildings from concrete. The printer uses a digital model of the building to create its physical copy layer by layer. Concrete is poured onto the platform and then the printer moves the platform upward to create the next layer. Another example of a construction 3D printer is FabLab, which uses plastic to create objects. The printer can create parts for cars, airplanes and other objects. Such solutions have long been described in science fiction, where buildings are erected in a matter of days using special robots. In our time, this idea has found a response. 
The convenience of using 3D printers was understood even with small plastic models when there was no need to go to a store for a needed part for a toy car and everything could be printed at home. When construction engineers learned about all the advantages of such printers, they began to think about how to apply this technology in their field. It is worth noting that their invention is really cool and useful, and we hope that in the future there will be even more 3D printers that will print home for those in need, making construction as cheap as possible. Laser levels and rangefinders Laser levels have become an indispensable part of the construction process. They allow for perfect precision in work. With such a laser, any deviations can be immediately seen and a master, for example doing finishing work, can easily correct any imperfections. Needless to say, similar lasers have been depicted in games and movies before. However, they work differently in those fictional portrayals. In works of art, they usually projected a hologram of the room where the characters were located. This allowed them to navigate without using maps and instantly visualize their surroundings. In games, such inventions greatly help the heroes and save them in challenging moments. Another cool idea from games and movies is the rangefinder that often appeared on weapons in action scenes. Nowadays, similar laser rangefinders are extremely popular. However, they are not used in the same way as in fiction. In games, these lasers help determine the exact distance to the target and calculate where to shoot based on their data. In our time, such lasers are widely used in construction, where they can quickly and accurately measure, for example, room dimensions. You won't need to run around with a tape measure or, heaven forbid, a ruler to measure distances. Isn't that amazing? Bricklaying robots Continuing the topic of robots, it's worth paying attention to the field of bricklaying and facade work. Automation has made its way into these tasks as well. Such robots were also described in movies and books long before they became a reality. These robots simplify the work of builders by independently and, most importantly, precisely laying both facade bricks and interior partitions and even walls. Of course, industrial versions that can build entire buildings in a matter of minutes have not been invented yet. These robots do not work much faster than humans, but they have many other advantages. They don't require a salary, only electricity. They perform work with the precision set by a human and never deviate from those settings. In general, there are many advantages, and this is yet another proof that human imagination often helps come up with something cool and innovative. The next invention you've definitely seen in numerous movies. Laser cutters In works of science fiction, laser weapons or laser cutters have long been popular. Typically, a superhero possessing the necessary technology or ability effortlessly defeats opponents by cutting them in half with such lasers in a second. In the real world, similar inventions exist and are widely used. Laser cutters have taken a prominent place among developments for CNC machines. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, a tool that is computer programmed and, in the case of lasers, allows you to cut almost any material with tremendous precision. Laser cutters solve the problem of creating complex and precise parts. With their help, you can easily cut sheets of metal and do it very quickly. Laser cutters are not limited to metal. They can cut other materials as well, and the main advantage of such machines is their widespread use. Similar machines are used both on an industrial scale and in small workshops, so you can definitely manufacture the parts you need in any quantity. And next you'll learn about one of the most ambitious projects that will definitely be used in construction – aerogel. This material has been heard of for a very long time. Aerogel made a real splash. A small, semi-transparent and very lightweight piece of this material managed to protect a person from the direct flame of a gas torch. It's truly mind-blowing. But how is it possible? It all comes down to the structure of aerogel. It's a highly porous polymer material, with 90% of its volume being air. This is what gives it its miraculous properties. The material is not combustible and conducts heat very poorly, which means it can easily be used for insulating buildings. The material has a very low density, so it's also very lightweight, and its sound conductivity is at the level of professional soundproofing solutions. Such a material will be useful not only in construction, but also in many other fields. For example, it can be used in fire-resistant clothing, since the material doesn't conduct heat and doesn't burn. By the way, just one gram of this material, when spread out flat, can cover half a football field. Similar miraculous materials were often described in science fiction. In books and movies, the process of creating them and their appearance were not precisely described, but their characteristics were mind-boggling. 
It was precisely this that gave scientists the idea of whether something similar could be created. Something that doesn't conduct heat, doesn't burn, is lightweight and durable. And that's how aerogel came into being. 1984. There is one dystopian work that accurately describes modern life. George Orwell, in his book 1984, published in 1949, very accurately described video surveillance cameras, which are now used literally everywhere in the city. In the novel, people were under constant surveillance, and in our day and age, it's almost the same. No matter which establishment you enter, there are cameras everywhere. They monitor you, what you do, and other people, analyzing all this information. Of course, all of this is done for security purposes. However, such things inevitably instill fear. The use of cameras like this raises the idea that we all live in a panopticon prison. The panopticon prison is a chamber where you will never see anyone, but everyone always sees what you're doing. Have you ever wondered who's behind that camera in the subway and why they're watching you? By the way, the world's first video surveillance system appeared in 1969. Its inventor was Marie van Britten Brown. She also received a patent for it. The device consisted of four peepholes and a movable camera that could be used to view any of them. The camera transmitted its images to a monitor. Light blocking facade. The last invention on our list, which is already being used in construction, has often appeared in science fiction books, movies, and games. In such works, you often come across scenes where a character gets out of bed, presses a button, or does nothing at all, and the window in their room automatically becomes transparent, allowing the morning sunlight to enter. German scientists developed a similar material for glass facades. The essence of the invention lies in creating a light-blocking layer for glass. However, this invention doesn't work quite the way it's depicted in movies and games. The material begins to block all light when heated, such as in direct sunlight, and conversely it allows all light to pass through when cooled, typically at night. The technology works as follows. The light-blocking facade consists of special components that remain in their standard expanded position when heated. When the material cools down, these components start to contract, increasing its light-transmitting ability. While this material is undoubtedly useful, it doesn't function exactly as envisioned by science fiction writers. Perhaps in the very near future, we will see a more suitable and easily adjustable light-blocking technology. Today you've learned about inventions from the world of construction, ideas for which were taken from various works of fiction. Thank you for watching.